hello this is Mr Field and this is my video on the advanced reactions of acids what makes this advanced is just that we'll be concentrating on um, symbol equations and balancing those rather than just writing word equations now um, before you uh, look at this video make sure you're comfortable with um, chemical symbols and formulas and what they mean um, ionic bonding and particularly how we determine formulas of ionic compounds the basics of acids and bases and also the previous video which was all about uh, the basic reactions uh, of acids and bases now um, in this video we're going to quickly recap how to determine ionic formulas then we'll look at the uh, how we produce symbol equations for our reactions of acids and lastly we'll look at the ionic equation for neutralization Okay, so our first thing we need to be able to do is to remind ourselves how to determine the formula of ionic compounds, which we often just call salts. So, to do this, our golden rule, which is why it's in yellow, is that the total positive and negative charges must be equal. So if we've got three positive charges, we will also need to make sure we have three negative charges, and so on. Now, um, a tip to do this is to look for the lowest common multiple of the uh, positive and negative charges. And the last thing is that if we're using compound ions, so compound ions contain more than one atom, things like hydroxide, nitrate, sulfate, carbonate, ammonium, um, those ones there, then if there's more than one of those, it will need to go in brackets, but only if there's more than one. So let's see how this pans out. Our first example is calcium chloride. So the first step in doing this is to write down the ions that are involved. So our calcium ion, first of all, is here. That is Ca2+. Plus. So I'm going to write down Ca2 plus like that. And next we've got our chloride ion, which over here is Cl minus. Now you can see from this, I've got two positive charges, but only one negative. So I need to add another negative charge, and I can only do that by adding a second chloride ion like that. So now I've got a total of two negative charges, which is the same as my total of two positive charges. So that means this formula now balances and I can just write it out. I've got one calcium, so I write Ca, and I've got two chlorides, so I write Cl2 like that. Now, just a little note, I don't do my formula like this. I don't say Ca2 plus and then Cl minus two like that. Um, I leave the charges out of the formula. Um, so it is like this without any charges at all. Example two, we've got sodium sulfate. So again, first step is my cation is sodium, so let's find that. Na plus up there is sodium. So I'm gonna write down Na plus for sodium. Then my anion is the sulfate, SO42 minus. So that's over there, so I write that down as well. Now again, you can see from this, I've got two negative charges, but only one positive charge. So I need another positive. And I do that just by giving myself another sodium. And so now I've got two pluses to cancel out my two negatives. Um, I can write my formula now. So really nice and easy. I've got two sodiums. So I write Na2. And I've got one sulfate. So I just write SO4 like that. And again, remember, I'm not putting the charges in my final formula. So that is finished as it is. Last example is magnesium nitrate. So again, let's start by writing out the ions. Magnesium up here is the Mg2 plus ion. And nitrate here is the NO3 minus ion. Now that three is the number of oxygens. It's not the charge. The charge is just that single minus there. Okay. So I've got two pluses and one negative. So really, um, the only thing I can do to make that balance is to add another nitrate. So if I just write another one in, NO3, with another minus, now I've got two negatives to cancel out my two positives, so that formula will balance now. So let's write that out. I'm going to go Mg, and then it gets slightly difficult because I want two nitrates. Now I can't, I can't do this. I can't say Mg, NO3, 2. Because what that means now is I've got magnesium, one nitrogen, and 32 oxygens, which is just not what we mean. So we need to use brackets now. So if I want two nitrates, I open some brackets, I write the nitrate ion, NO3, I close my brackets, and then I put the two like that. And so that's my formula for magnesium nitrate. We're going to be looking at this 
process a lot over the next few slides. Now, the last thing I would add is at some point, you will need to memorize um, the detail in this table, but let's not worry about that for now. That's something for you to go away and do with some flashcards at some point in your own time. Okay, so the first reaction we're going to look at is the reaction of acids with metal hydroxides, which we saw in my previous video. Um, an acid and a metal hydroxide makes a salt and water, which is a neutralization reaction because of that salt and water. So example number one, we've got hydrochloric acid reacting with sodium hydroxide to make sodium chloride and water. If you don't know why it's that, check out the pre previous video because that goes into detail on the word equations. But let's just start where we are with this one. So hydrochloric acid is HCl. That is a formula you're expected to memorize for the syllabus. Sodium hydroxide, you don't need to memorize that, but let's work it out. Um, sodium, the sodium ion is Na+, which is just up here. So you've got Na+, hydroxide here, which you are required to memorize, but let's assume you don't know it yet, is OH-. Um, so 1 plus, 1 minus, that's going to give us NaOH. And it's reacting to produce sodium chloride. Now, we just saw sodium was Na+. Plus. Chloride um, is here as Cl-. Minus. Um, and so there's 1 plus, 1 minus. So the formula is just NaCl. And lastly, we've got water as well, which we should know is H2O. Now, let's quickly check if that's balanced. So hydrogens, we've got 1, 2 on the left and 2 on the right. That's good. Then chlorines, we've got one on the left, one on the right. The sodiums, there's one sodium on the left and one on the right. And lastly, the oxygens, there is one on the left and one on the right as well. So that's all good. That's all balanced. We don't need to do anything else. So that is our full equation for that. Now, let me just rub this out and then we'll look at a, um, a different reaction. This second example is going to be nitric acid reacting with calcium hydroxide to make calcium nitrate and water. Now, in this one, again, if we start, we should memorize, and you do need to get this, that nitric acid is HNO3, like that. Um, it's going to make calcium hydro uh, react with calcium hydroxide. Calcium is the Ca2 plus ion. And the hydroxide ion we've seen already is OH minus. Now, we've got two pluses and a single minus, so we need to add another hydroxide to make those charges cancel out. So our formula will be Ca in brackets OH2, like that. And this is going to make calcium nitrate. Now, again, the calcium ion we've seen already, calcium 2 plus. Nitrate is down here. That is NO3 minus. So again, we're going to need to add another nitrate to make our um, charges cancel out, which will lead us to calcium Ca NO3 in brackets 2, like that plus our water as well, H2O. Now this one, you can probably see just by looking at it that it doesn't balance. So let's work through the process of how to do this. And we'll start by counting our hydrogens. On the left, we've got one, two, three. And on the right, we've just got two over here. So that doesn't balance. Our, rather than looking at the nitrogen independently, it makes more sense in here, in this case, to chunk it a little bit and look at our nitrate as a whole. So we're going to put NO3, and you can see there are, there's one nitrate on the left, and there are two nitrates on the right. Um, then look at our calcium, Ca, there's one on the left and one on the right. Um, and now if we look at our oxygens, except for the nitrate ones, so just these oxygens here, there's two oxygens on the left and just one on the right. So there are a few bits and pieces that need balancing here. Um, now, the most obvious one to start with, I think, is this nitrate. That, nit that nitrate here is a big deal. So we've got two on the right, only one on the left. So let's put a big fat two in front of the nitric acid, and that will give us one more nitrate. It will also give us one more hydrogen. Okay. Um, moving down, our calcium's fine, so that's not good, but we still need to source out the hydrogen here and the oxygen there because we've got more on the left and not enough on the right. So if we add a two in front of the H2O, that's going to give us two more H's and one more O. And so now that balances. Now, just to sort of recap the trick here, what makes it a lot easier is treating the nitrate as one big chunk. So do look out for those repeated chunks. 
that we can treat as one single atom when we think about balancing. Right, next up is the reaction of acids with metal oxides. Now, um, again, this time it's still a neutralization reaction. We're still going to make salt and water, but what's going to be different is our formulas because we've got oxides, not hydroxides. So example one, hydrochloric acid and calcium oxide. Again, hydrochloric acid is HCl. That's a formula you're, you're required to know. Um, calcium oxide, we've seen calcium before, but it's up there, Ca2+. Now the oxide ion is here, O2-. Now you can see we've got two negatives and two positives, so our, that you know those are cancel out, so our formula will just be CaO, like that. And it's going to make calcium chloride, again, Ca is Ca2+. We've seen before that chloride ion is Cl-, so you can probably tell that we're going to need two chlorides to cancel out, to give us two negatives to cancel out those two positives uh, that are there. So our formula will be CaCl2, like that. Remember, we don't put charges in our final formulas, and also the water as well. So let's try and balance that. Um, the number of hydrogens on the left, we've got one on the left and two on the right. Um, next up, we've got the chlorines. There's one chlorine on the left and two chlorines on the right. Calcium, um, there is one left and one right. And lastly, oxygen, there is one left and one right as well. So you can see that what we need is both another H and another Cl on the left. And that's nice and easy because they're both present in HCl. So if I just put a two there, that gives me two hydrogens and two chlorines on the left. So now we're all balanced. Uh, life is well. Okay, let's just rub that out and then we'll look at the second example. Mm, throw rubbing skills. Right now, next one we've got is the nitric acid reacting with um, potassium oxide to make potassium nitrate and water. Again, if you're not sure why that word equation comes out that way, check my previous video on the basics of these reactions. So nitric acid, we need to know this is HNO3. And potassium oxide um, is K plus for potassium. That's up here. Um, oxide is O2 minus. So we've got two negatives and only one positive. So we need another positive ion like that for it to cancel out. So we're going to end up with K2O as our formula for potassium oxide. And it's going to make potassium nitrate. Now, potassium is K plus. Um, nitrate, we've seen before, is here. NO3 minus. Um, one positive and one negative cancelled out. So our formula will just be KNO3. No need for brackets because there's only one nitrate, not multiple nitrates. Um, and we've got water as well, H2O. So let's try and make that balance. Um, we've got hydrogens. One left, two right. Um, we're going to look at the nitrates as one chunk again. So nitrates, we've got one on the left and one on the right. So that's all good. Potassiums, and this is where things are going to go, go a bit wrong for us. We've got one potassium, so, uh, sorry, two potassiums on the left and only one on the right. And also the oxygens, not the nitrate oxygens, but the free oxygens. Uh, we've got one left and one right as well. So everything is all good except for the potassium, but by, by balancing the potassium, everything else is going to go a bit wrong. So let's have a little look. We're going to go KNO3. Um, we need one extra K on the right, so I'm going to go two KNO3s. So that gives me another K, and it also gives me another nitrate. Okay. Now the only way to get another nitrate is to put a two in front of the nitric acid on the left there. Um, so that's going to give me one more H because it's HNO3 and one more nitrate as well. And so now that balances by putting a two in front of the HNO3 and a two in front of the KNO3. Okay, so what now about the reaction of acids with metal carbonates? Now this is a bit more complicated than the others because as well as making salt and water, we also make carbon dioxide as well. This is still a neutralization reaction because it makes that salt and water. So example one then, um, sulfuric acid and magnesium carbonate reacting together to make magnesium sulfate and water and carbon dioxide. So let's put our formula for sulfuric acid. You do need to know these, but um, 
if you don't, it, there it is, H2SO4. Magnesium carbonate. Now, what's our formula for that? Magnesium ion is Mg2+. Mg2+. And our carbonate ion here, CO3 2 minus. So we've got two negative charges, two positive charges. So they cancel out nicely. So it would just be MgCO3 like that. And that is going to react to make magnesium sulfate. So again, we've seen magnesium is Mg2 plus. And sulfate, that is SO4 2 minus. So again, we've got two negatives. We've got two positives. That cancels out really nicely to just give us MgSO4. Uh, and also, don't forget, we've got the water, H2O, and that carbon dioxide, CO2. So our balancing is going to be a bit longer this time because we've got more different elements involved. But let's have a look anyway. We've got hydrogen, first of all, hydrogen, two on the left and two on the right. We're going to treat our sulfate as one whole thing because we've got sulfate left and right as well. So the SO4, we've got one left and one right. Magnesium, we've got one left and one right. The carbon in our carbonate, we've got one left and one right. Um, and lastly, the oxygens that aren't in the sulfates, we've got three left and um, one two, three, right. So actually, that balances as it is and no further action is needed. Let me just rub that one out and then we'll move on to the next example. Right, so example number two then. Um, nitric acid reacting with ammonium carbonate to make ammonium nitrate and water and carbon dioxide. We'll do the same thing as before. So we'll write our formulas in. Um, I might have to write a bit smaller here because I'm going to run out of space, but we're going to go HNO3 is nitric acid. Ammonium carbonate. Now the ammonium ion here is NH4 plus. And the carbonate ion we've seen already is CO3 2 minus. So I'm going to need a second ammonium to give me two positives to cancel out those two negatives. So my formula will be NH4 in brackets 2 CO3 like that and that's going to give me ammonium nitrate now ammonium again NH4 plus the nitrate ion we've seen several times this presentation is NO3 minus again one positive one negative they cancel out nicely so that will just be NH4 NO3 like that plus water H2O plus that carbon dioxide CO2 now let's try and balance this so we're going to go hydrogen first of all. Hydrogens, there's one on the left. We're going to ignore the ones that are in that ammonium because we'll treat that as a whole ion uh, in a second. Um, and there are two hydrogens on the right, one, two, there. Now the nitrate, we're going to keep the nitrate together because we've got NO3 here and here. Now there's one nitrate on the left and one on the right. So we go one and one. We're going to do similar with ammonium because the NH4 appears on the left and the right unchanged. So we go NH4, there's two on the left, that two there, and only one on the right. Um, lastly, we've got the carbon in our carbonate. There's one on the left and one on the right. And lastly, the oxygens from our carbonate, there is three on the left and only, so, oh, sorry, also three on the right over there. Um, good, right. Now, just worth noting, we're not treating the carbonate as a whole ion in our balancing, just because the carbonate is only on the left, it doesn't reappear on the right. Now, so let's try and balance this. So our hydrogens are out of whack and our nitrates are out of whack. We've got only one of each on the left um, and we need to change that. So if I put a two in front of the nitrate there, that would give me two hydrogens and two nitrates. So now my nitrate on the right is unbalanced. So let's put a two in front of the ammonium nitrate. That will give me another nitrate, but it also gives me another ammonium, which is quite handy because I wanted to have two 
on the right, and I only had one before. Um, my carbons are now balanced. They were already balanced, and my oxygens are already balanced. So by adding those two twos in, in front of the nitric acid and in front of the ammonium nitrate, now everything is balanced, and we're all good. My last reaction, then, is the reaction of acids with metals. Um, so acid and metal make salt and hydrogen, not neutralization this time because no water is made. So example number one, hydrochloric acid and potassium. So hydrochloric acid, we should know by now, is HCl. Potassium, no formula here, it is just straight K because it's not in a compound, it is just the metallic potassium K, like that. That is going to react to make potassium chloride. Now the potassium ion is K plus, you can see that in the table up there, and chloride we've seen before is Cl minus, um, just here. So one positive, one negative cancels nicely to give us just KCl as that formula. And hydrogen, hydrogen gas is H2, not just H. Don't forget that. So let's try and balance this now then. So we've got H's, Cl's and K's. Now H's, there's one hydrogen left, two on the right. So straight off the bat, we're not balanced. Chlorines, there's one left and one right. And potassiums, there is one left and one right as well. So our hydrogens don't balance. We need more on the left. The only way to do that is to put a two in front of the hydrogen, uh, in front of the HCl. That gives us two hydrogens, but it also gives us a second chloride as well. So now our chlorides on the right don't balance. So the only thing I can do is to put a two in front of KCl, which gives me one more chloride on the right, but also one more potassium. So now that doesn't balance, but nice and easy. All I need to do to balance it is to put a two in front of the K and bish bash bosh, just like that, we are done. So that one balances nicely. Let's rub that out and look at the second example for metals and acids. Now this is sulfuric acid and sodium making sodium sulfate and hydrogen. So again, we need to memorize the formulas of our acids. Sulfuric acid is H2SO4, like that. It reacts with just sodium metal. Sodium is Na, and it's going to make sodium sulfate. Now, the sodium ion up here is Na+. Plus. Sulfate here is SO4 2 minus. So I'm going to need a second sodium ion to give me two positives to cancel out those two negatives. So my formula will be Na2SO4, like that, plus my hydrogen's H2. Okay, so let's balance this. We have, starting with hydrogens, we've got two on the left and only, uh, so two on the left and two on the right, so two left, two right. I'm going to balance my whole sulfate because the sulfate appears on both the left and the right as SO4, so it's going to go SO4, I've got one left and one right, and then sodiums, I've got one left and two on the right. So my hydrogen balances, my sulfate balances, my sodium doesn't. All I need to do is just stick a two in front of the Na there, and that gives me two sodiums on the left, and now that balances as well. So there we go. That's all of our different reactions of acids using these full balance equations. I know it takes time to do these at first, but as you practice, um, it gets uh, easier. The key step to a lot of this is you need to memorize the details in this table. Um, but that makes it so much easier because you understand what the charges are on each of the ions. Now, we spent a lot, a lot of time on this um, presentation looking at different reactions of uh, acids, and we saw that three out of our four reactions are neutralization reactions, where um, we have an acid and alkali reacting together to make salt and water. Now, we've seen um, our, our, in previous videos that acids are sources of hydrogen ions, H+, and that alkalis are sources of hydroxide ions, OH-. Okay? And during neutralization, these combine to form water. Okay? And the ionic equation for that looks like this. So we have hydrogen, aqueous, that means AQ means aqueous, dissolved in water, and hydroxide, dissolved in water, reacts together to make liquid water. And this is the actual neutralization part of a neutralization reaction. Now, all neutralization um, reactions involve some version of this process. So we have similar equations exist for carbonates and oxides, but you don't need to know them 
you just need to know this one. So you need to memorize that H plus and OH minus react together to make H2O. So that's it, the end. As always, thank you for listening and well done if you got this far.